Hello guys, welcome to part 3 of Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy. We are continuing on our journey through the native fortress. So, let's uh, let's uh, get the show on the road. Now, if I remember, I think there is an Aku Aku up here. <laughs> I love that detail now, where, where, where you fall too too far from a great of height and you just um, smack face first into the floor <laughs> that's always that's that's a very funny detail now okay there it is so Whoop. oh wait not yet there we go done <laughs> actually I would like to see somebody um, Download my videos and do a death compilation, you know, of all the um, mess ups that I do. Um, because um, if that's one thing I love about the um, video game community on YouTube, um, is that I love seeing somebody upload their death compilation. Actually, the most funniest one that has to come to mind is Dexter's Manning! <laughs> Dexter Manning's um, uh, death compilation, which was so funny. It is. It's definitely my favorite. Death compilation by him. Um, of course, that, uh, that's for his older Crash Bandicoot Let's Play. Um, all that. Yeah. Damn, I find it so funny. Actually, I better not go down just yet. Um, okay, there we go. Smack! Now, these flames here that can get very quick all of a sudden sometimes. Whack! Oh, shoot! I was more or less paying attention to the spike pendulums. Or was it podiums? Yeah. Okay. Smack. Okay. Okay, let the plane go. Oof, I was taking a little bit of a risky thing there. All right, go. Kill the Venus Blighter. Okay, that's where the red gem is because um, up up in the sky there's where the other hidden boxes are. Just to let you know. Now it's this bit I gotta be careful of because luckily there's a secret thing over here. I, I don't know if that was in the original. If it was, then uh, then um, then I guess I better remember for that. This is the last bit here, so let's get up here. Keep on forgetting to oh. I didn't know I, my jump can actually reach that high. Some of the old sound effects come back from uh, the original Crash. Um, of course, the, the I keep on calling them apples. It's Wumper Fruit. Um, oh shoot! All right. Yeah. Oh crap! Ah damn it! Ugh. Once you fall off, everything falls apart. Okay. Oh no, please don't. Ooh, ooh, okay. God, you know what would be really scary if they actually added in falling damage? If you fall too great of height, you die. Uh, now, they actually added in this platform because in the original game, the, the end thing was actually right here where I'm standing. So I think in case anybody misses the one box that I destroyed, which was the life, um, would miss it. So I guess that was nice of them to put it over here. Which, of course, that was the one funny moment that I loved in in um, in some Call Me Johnny's um, SGB um, moment. And we go like, ah, fudge. God damn it, I forgot the blooming box to the to the left. Yeah, rub it in. Now it's uh, up the creek, which is the, um, the other water level in um, Crash Bandicoot. So let's begin. Uh... In words of rhyme from from uh, SGB, um, um, no, not SGB, <laughs> BSC, um, Brain Scratch commentaries. Uh, uh, he says that in E3 1995, um, Shigeru Miyamoto um, liked how the water graphics looked in the original Crash game, and uh, this apparently um, inspired him to do later water levels in games. Um, that was a very interesting um, bit of trivia. I know. Smack the monkey. Too bad you can't spank the monkey like in um, South Park. 
actually, I think that was a mini game for one of the uh, for, for one of the um, uh, N64 games of um, of uh, South Park. I think it's uh, Chef's Love Shack. I think it was. Um, yeah, actually, because I actually remember one line from that game where um, where you hear Cartman saying, "That ash is eternally grateful." Ooh! Where did the monkey go? Did I spin him away? Uh, okay, um, I better not question it now. Okay, get that. Head over here. Are these guys meant to be piranhas or something? Um, now I think, yeah, yeah, this is the bit. Okay. Do, 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 do. Okay, do that. Wait, wait for the little plant things to come back. There we go. So we'll head back. As you see, there is a box down here. Um, because those are the two boxes that you don't see. Because normally you would see a white, um, uh, white, a white um, wire frame of the box where it would be. Um, however, in that case, the, that doesn't even appear there, which is really odd. Actually, I think Johnny mentioned that in his uh, review. Now, if there's one thing I can criticize Insane Trilogy for after watching so many videos of people uploading their um, death animations video, it's that some of the death animations for Insane Trilogy, especially for the original, I find very disappointing. Because, let's say if I got killed in, in this um, game, um, Instead of me dying like in the original game, you know, spin in a black void and you hear Crash Bandicoot go like, Whoa! Ding! Ding! <laughs> Pretty much the anvil drop in the sound effect for the original. Um, instead, Crash turns into an angel like he did in Crash 2 and 3. Um, while I do like that death, it actually feels insulting actually to see Crash Bandicoot turn into an angel and see him go up. Um, I don't mind him when he's an angel, which he, which, which, which if he has the um, the didgeridoo where he gets hit by the um, nitro boxes, he goes like warm, 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 which is still sort of here and all. Um, and plus, some of the uh, death animations, like me getting crisp, is not as funny as like in the original, where he just stands still and you see him crumple to the um, to the floor. Sorry, I have to do that. And where you see him crumple to dust to the floor instead of just disintegrating like I was shot by a Klingon disruptor gun and all that. <laughs> now it's boss time which is Ripperoo. Um, uh, Ripperoo is, um, is well a kangaroo and a mentally insane one you see he's in a straight jacket. Now this boss fight in the original game I did find it annoying but at least it didn't take me long to beat him. Here I have no idea um, because I think he moves faster in this one, actually. Um, all that. I'm just waiting for that box. Okay, go. Damn it! Actually, if there's one trivia I can actually mention for for Ripperoo, his laughter um, is. Um, is uh, the hyena laugh from uh, from uh, Lady and the Tramp uh, when Lady was trying to get um, her, her her little mouth thing off uh, a muzzle um, off? I'm kind of hitting these a bit too early. Actually, how about on the last hit? If he gets hit by the um, the TNT crate, um, uh, well, big TNT crate. I'm gonna um, stand next to him and just. Um, oh, he's gonna go this way. Actually, well, that's one way to get rid of him. If you have a spell, Aku Aku, just do that. Ta ta! I am out of here! I probably will save this for the next part, Lost City. So, um, so stay tuned for part four, guys, of Crash Bandicoot and Sane Trilogy.